Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell encouraged by heightened economic activities this month. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Friday, December 24th, I am Rikisha St. Louis. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the government welcomes new developments that are favorably boosting the country's economy during the month of December. During an address to the nation on Thursday, Dr. Mitchell said after months of little or no revenue generation, government saw it necessary and in the best interest of the country and the people to boost the economy. This was done through the provision of extra salaries to frontline workers and public officers, two stimulus packages, capping the price of gasoline and diesel, reducing the cost of electricity and other COVID-19 relief measures. Following a visit to the city this week, Dr. Mitchell said he is encouraged by the level of shopping and Christmas preparations. I am personally heartened to see the uptick in activity in recent days and several members of our business community have also reported increased sales. A welcome development after so many months of reduced activity due to the impact of COVID-19. In addition to its ongoing role in facilitating a business-friendly environment that generates continuous growth in private sector investment, the government of Grenada is pleased to have played a role in boosting economic activity this Christmas. Government takes very seriously its responsibility to uplift the people of Grenada, Caracou and P.T. Martinique. However, he cautioned Grenadians to be responsible in their spending and to maintain protocols to keep themselves and their families safe during the festive season. We encourage you to be responsible in your spending as January usually seems to be a very long month. Also, COVID-19 continues to be far-reaching and unpredictable in its impact on our country and our people. So far this week, the Ministry of Health has reported a total of 21 new cases, figures we have not seen in a while. This drives home the point that the threat of COVID-19 continues to exist. We have experienced the impact of a national shutdown and we are certainly not keen to have to resort to that again. Therefore, our actions over this festive season will determine what happens in our country in the next few weeks. We must not drop our guard. We must continue to maintain the recommended protocols which I intended to keep us all very safe. The Royal Grenada Police Force is urging people to avoid falling prey to complacency during the busy festive season, especially as neighboring islands are discovering cases of the new Omicron variant. The RGPF launched its Yuletide operations on Thursday, December 23rd, which will see an increase in police patrols, roadblocks and police presence at events. During a press conference this week, Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin and ACP John Charles, head of the operational arm of the force, encouraged the Grenadians to remain vigilant and follow the COVID-19 protocols in place for their protection. We certainly, uh, just to remind us, we are into the festive period. We are all hearing of the new variant of the COVID that is circulating in the world around us. Um, we have been through this before, colleagues. We do know, as a matter of fact, that it might just be only a matter of time. Let us not fall complacent, as we may have done before, to harden and solidify our defenses 
by getting vaccinated, complying with the protocols, and making sure that we are 100% compliant with the new normal. Be safe and secure. Don't be intimidated by the police presence. They are there to protect you. Uh, that's public safety. And um, in terms of crime, there are members out there who may know something, hear something, or, or see something happening. And what we would like you to do is to report it to the police once you have a concern. Head of the Traffic Department, Superintendent Randy Connott, said officers will be engaging individuals at hotspots and events likely to encourage the spread of COVID-19. We do continue to monitor the hotspot areas that, and there are accident-prone areas, there are speed-prone areas, and we continue to engage our operational effort to target these specific areas. Um, we know this is a festive season. One might be tempted to drink and, and also operate a vehicle. We too will be outside there, and that is the reason why I am making the appeal now, more than ever, so that persons can be aware that there will be heightened police operations. Um, the idea is not to just do the enforcement part, but also to equally apply the, the, the public education aspect of things, so that persons would be aware that there is a likelihood that we would be engaged by the police. And I may dare say that our operations take into consideration professional engagement. And this is what we intend to do, but the hotspots, as you rightfully said, are areas that are under consideration, are active consideration, and we have been engaged in those areas, and we will continue to do so. And not just over the festive season, we are looking at trends and patterns, and this is what we're going to focus our operational efforts and be guided by those. This is the National Report. The news will continue after the break. Hello, Grenada. I am Superintendent Randy Connaught, officer in charge of the traffic department. As we celebrate the spirit of the season, I urge you to take into account our collective responsibility for road safety. Accidents are avoidable and the impact weighs heavily on the social and economic pillars of our society. We at the traffic department of the Royal Grenada Police Force extend best wishes to you for the holiday season and wish to assure you that we will continue to serve you with the highest professional and ethical standards as we move forward into the new year. Being mindful that we have heightened our operations and will be more visible in effecting our mandate, all with the aim to reduce accidents, speeding and driving while being under the influence of alcohol. Help us to provide for a safer Grenada. Happy holidays everyone and we thank you for your support and look forward to serving you in 2022. Welcome back. Residents of state-owned nursing and children homes were given a little extra chair to help make the holidays brighter. This is thanks to the National Lottery Authority's 2021 Caring and Sharing Initiative. Checks of varying amounts were distributed to the management of the institutions to aid in their Christmas activities or other operations. To ensure protection of the residents in the face of the COVID-19, staff at NLA serenaded residents from outside of the property. Mrs. Sherry Cromwell of the NLA says it's at the heart of the organization to give back. We feel so happy to be able to share what the National Lottery Authority would have received during the year. Even though it, even though it was a year, a pande pandemic year, we still see it the fit to be able to contribute towards this initiative. So that's why we ask the persons, when you play the games of the National Lottery Authority, you're not only playing to win, you are playing to support these initiatives. You are playing to support sporting activities. You are playing to support our athletes who are out there studying and we can give that financial ass um, assistance too. We are there to support persons who have health issues and a lot more. The gesture was well received by management of the different nursing and children homes. We appreciate it. We did not expect it, but it will go a long way towards our yearly luncheon for the residents on Christmas Day. I wish to express gratitude for your kind donation. Of course, it's going to go a long way in helping the residents here to have a good a Merry Christmas. I know a lot of persons 
They are going through a lot of hard times and struggles. But at the same time, we are very grateful to the National Lottery for taking time off to give us this generous offer. Thank you. It has been a difficult year for us. We have survived COVID so far. Um, and this $800 will go a long way to making their Christmas a brighter Christmas. Thank you again, National Lottery. We really appreciate it. Finally, in the news, the Ministry of Health encourages persons with non-communicable diseases to carefully monitor their food and alcohol intake during the festive season. Information Officer Kevil Fedrick stressed the importance of having sufficient medication in stock in the event of too much sugar, salt, or alcohol consumption. The advice is part of the Ministry's public education campaign for the Christmas holiday. We want to also highlight that this is not only about COVID. Bear in mind there are other things that persons need to be mindful of. For example, the persons who are diabetics, hypertensive and so on, chronic disease patients. So we are we are encouraging you to to watch your intake, you know, your salt intake, your sugar intake, you know, your alcohol intake. Remember to to follow the guidance of your medical care provider take your medication as prescribed and one of the things we also encourage persons to do around this time is to ensure that your your medicines are f repeated at this time because what may happen is that you may wait until it is crunch time and you may find yourself in a position where you run out of your your medicine so now is the time to make sure that you go and get your medicines and so on, top up as you would say, you know, top it up so you have enough to, to ride out the entire season. According to Frederick, it is important for parents or guardians who intend to visit the beach for the holidays to ensure their children are wearing easily recognizable clothing or colors for added safety. Persons who are going to be visiting the beach and the river and so on. Now, um, some people will go and have parties and you might be consuming alcohol, but you would also have young ones there. Now, it is going to be um, somewhat difficult for you to be drinking and you have kids in the water. You may not be focus that much on what is taking place in the water especially if the beach is crowded it is easy for you to actually lose sight as to where your child is because there are so many children on the, the, the beach so you know um, something that works um from what from a risk communication standpoint is that what we always tell tell persons is that if you're going to the beach and you have a young one just as how you will tag your luggage coming through the airport maybe dress your son or daughter your child you know in a color that you are going to remember that is going to stand out to you um, um yes there may be a couple of children who may be wearing the, the same thing but at least you will have a better idea as to where that you know child is so maybe some bright color you know something that that you know um the family know that that child is wearing that story just ended the national report for friday december 24th let's recap the top story Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell encouraged by heightened economic activities this month. On behalf of the entire news and the production team, I am Rikisha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Remember to keep safe, observe the COVID-19 protocols, and enjoy the holidays. Until next time.